From the 1st of October 2025, the Streetworks UK protocol comes into place for all streetworks operating under immediate urgent, immediate emergency, minor, standard, major works when the permit or notice is only required due to traffic management purposes or equivalent notice periods for works on private land. The protocol requires a set of changes to current working practices and the chapters in this video provide an outline of the requirements for individuals currently carrying out streetworks duties. It is a legal requirement to follow the requirements of the protocol which are outlined in this video. Compliance will be checked and non-compliance enforced by the Environment Agency. In this chapter we will go through the six essential steps for managing and reporting sampling results under the Streetworks UK protocol. This process is critical for maintaining compliance with the Environment Agency and ensuring our operations remain efficient and low risk. When we receive sampling analysis from a UCAS accredited laboratory, the first action is to complete the Street Manager Upload Certificate template. This document is downloadable from the Streetworks UK website and must be filled out by an appointed person within your organisation. The key fields to complete include Location details Ensure accuracy using what three words or postcode Permit number and work order These link the sample to the specific excavation Surface location For example, footway, carriageway or verge The final two sections of the form require you to input the lab's classification of the bituminous layer and sub-base Red equals hazardous Green, non-hazardous Accuracy here is vital because the data feeds into the National Streetworks UK database which informs future risk assessments and regulatory decisions. Once the template is complete, the appointed person must log into the Street Manager portal and upload the record. Why is this important? Street Manager joins up all results from all organisations that are inputting data. It builds a central register that will help support doing the desktop risk assessments. The Environment Agency expects continuous uploads, so it is important not to delay or batch submissions. Failure to upload promptly can result in non-compliance and may affect your organization's standing with the Environment Agency, leading to the potential of increased sampling volumes. In addition to uploading to Street Manager, the appointed person must record each sample in the Streetworks UK quarterly results log. This Excel template is also available on the Streetworks UK website. Each entry must include Sample ID Your organisation name Utility type The sector your organisation works in Location type Public or private land Work type based on the permit the work was completed. Location, what three words or postcode. Sample date, reporting period, for example, 2025, Q4. Surface location and type, for example, footway, subbase. Central register result, based on the street manager database. Desktop result, red, high or green, medium or low risk. Site result, Red, hazardous, green, non-hazardous. Testing arrangements, use of pack spray or litmus paper. Lab test result, red, hazardous or green, non-hazardous. The spreadsheet automatically calculates your compliance percentage. This reflects how closely your site assessments match the lab results. This metric is key to maintaining your eligibility under the Streetworks UK protocol. Quarterly returns must be submitted one calendar quarter in arrears. For example, results from Q4 2025 should be submitted by the end of Q1 2026. You should use the EAT1 reporting calendar to confirm submission deadlines. You must also send your completed spreadsheet to the designated Streetworks UK email address, which is info at streetworks.org.uk. You should mark the subject of the email as sample return, followed by your organization's name. Why does this matter? 
Streetworks UK shares your data with the Environment Agency. Your quarterly sampling accuracy is reviewed for compliance and if your accuracy drops below 70% for two consecutive quarters, your organisation may be suspended from using the Streetworks UK protocol. Suspension means reverting to the WM3 waste classification process, which requires lab testing for every excavation, which is clearly a costly and time-consuming alternative. If you wish to rejoin to the Streetworks UK protocol, you will need to submit a corrective action plan to the Environments Agency. The sampling burden for each calendar year is calculated on two factors. Factor 1 is the number of excavations completed within the scope of the Streetworks UK protocol two calendar years prior is used to calculate your sampling volume as shown on the screen. You can determine how many excavations your organisation completed within the scope of the protocol by running the following searches with Street Manager for the required reporting period. It's important to note you may have to shorten the search dates if you're extracting large volumes. For example, run 12 reports, one for each month of the year, and then combine them into one file at the end to get your total figure. Factor 2 is the sampling accuracy from the previous calendar year, which determines the percentage of excavations that must be sampled. Over 93% accuracy, sample 1% of excavations. 85 to 92.99% accuracy, sample 2%. Below 85% accuracy, sample 3%. Here is an example. Let's say your organization is calculating its sampling burden for 2027. The excavation volume from 2025 is 5,000 excavations. The sampling accuracy from 2026 is 90%. Required sampling rate, 2%. Result. You must submit 100 samples for lab analysis in 2027, i.e. 2% of 5,000. It's important to note the following. Sampling should be evenly distributed throughout the year. There is an expectation from the Environment Agency that sampling will be conducted evenly across each quarter. For 2026, only 1% sampling is required due to limited lab testing in 2025. These are minimum requirements and of course organizations may choose to sample more frequently for assurance or internal quality control. Once you have calculated your annual sampling requirements, you must inform Streetworks UK and include the data used to make your calculation. This should be emailed to info at streetworks.org.uk. The subject of the email should be titled SWUK Protocol, the year, excavation volume and the organisation name. 